சர்வ மந்திரமை சர்வ மந்திரமை சர்வ மந்திரமை சர்வ துவந்தாட்சயங்கரி சர்வ துவந்தாட்சயங்கரி சர்வ துவந்தாட்சயங்கரி In every sound, there are four levels. Para, Pashyanti, Madhyama, Vaikhari. Unfortunately, we are only observing at Vaikhari and forgetting that Para. That Para state is Sarva Mantramai. And if you understand that every sound I am delivering is a mantra, it is going to protect me if I am delivering it properly. with the correct tone act to the situation filled with knowledge that's why we say talk less talk slow talk low that responsibility protects you now what is happening whatever i recite mantra in the puja room that is mantra outside i can blabber anything gossip anything criticize anybody there i am getting 2000 calories of punya let us measure in that calorie here i am spending 5000 calories of gossip there is a mantra for reducing your anger cream is the mantra again when i say mantra don't go to the god it is connected to kali but what happens you need to observe when i say cream it produces a friction heat a friction which produces sattvic heat when i am in anger mood also my shouting my usage of words produces heat which is liked by the mind that is tamasic heat the same heat i am producing with cream what is the mantra for stress south take out and leave it what is the mantra for peace of mind many people say om namah shivaya om or whatever may be in this of course because i am giving this lecture in english i have to depend on the language but what is the mantra for peace is it's okay the mantra anything happens feel that everything is fine it's okay it's okay for that person to behave like that it's okay for this happening in my life because everything is based on the karma so if you observe like that nadi naam sagaro gati sarva deva namaskaram keshavam pratigachati because god is not a limited identity yeah we are giving identity to god of course they are whatever form you meditate on it takes that form i'm not denying that but the problem is we are limiting the entire supreme brahman to that form only that is also fine eko narayana but you need to see the same form in everything not identify the other form as separate from this and go away from that that is where it is warning you sarva mantramai whatever sound you are producing to protect yourself and protect the community is going to reach me sarva deva namaskaram keshavam pratigachati who are the devas the devas in the temple the devas in the puja room expand that word vijrumbana we talked about that right expand then you see sarva deva namaskaram if you treat this community the people the animal the creature the bird the trees the nature as god and surrender to that that kind of life reaches bhagavanta the creator next we come across sarva dwandakshayankari so she removes all the duality of course very high level awareness that's why what all the explanation 
we are going to think of, it will look like impractical. Is it possible to attain this state? Yes, it is. We have seen many saints, Siddha Purushas, enjoy this state of non-duality. It is possible, but difficult. What is the reason for all the desires, anger, lust, greed? The root cause is the duality. Because I think I am separate from you, and I like the shirt you are wearing, and I feel that I don't have that shirt. See how much psychology inside. I want to have that shirt. Everything is Maya. The root cause for the Maya is separation, duality. And let us not talk about the higher duality, Advaita, Sarvam Kalvidam Brahma. Let us start with the duality inside us. We have duality in our family. If a mistake is done by our family member, you are okay. But outside, another person, suppose our children make some noise, we can bear it. If the neighbor house, that fellow comes and makes noise, oh my God, what is this brought up? No discipline at all. Duality. And Guru, all the people, they respect Guru. And Guru tells the normal good things. Don't lie, don't show your anger, everything. There are many people who are exhibiting the same amount of patience and knowledge around us, particularly in our family also. But even though Guru says, I am not a form, I am a tattva, apply that tattva to everything in your family and in the world. Are we applying? That is why I say, if all of us show at least 10% of the respect we show on our Guru to our family members, lot of problems would have been avoided. We prostrate before Guru and listen to him. But we come out, we forget about the Tattva because for us, Guru is separate, family is separate, duality. Humans are separate. Animals are separate. We don't treat animals in the same respect as human. How do you feed a dog? Rotten bread. You smell it? <laughs> the dog will eat. Okay. Duality is there. The worst part is at least that rotten bread you don't put it with respect, you just throw it. Because it's after all a dog. Surprisingly, not one dog, four dogs are there around the Tatreya. Om Dram the Tatreya Yenamaha. Datta will definitely laugh. You didn't treat my dog properly on the street and you are coming here and going around. Duality. Don't ever look down on animals. Take a plate, fresh bread, put it before that. Put a glass of water and stand as if you are doing Naivedyam to the God. Can you do that? Well, that is non-duality. How many of us will do? Of course, there are people who do that. I don't deny that. Next, puja room. Duality. For us, the behavior in the puja room is something unique. Outside is unique. We can do whatever we want. But this is separate. This is separate. 
duality. And what is happening is because of this duality, I'm thinking, I'm separate from the thoughts. I have this thought. So I need to do something to fulfill the thought. Thought is separate. I am separate. Action is separate. I am separate. I never involved. Forget about merging in the God. Merge with your thought. Merge with your action. Yoga, Karmeshu, Kaushalam. Respect Krishna by leading a perfect life as per Bhagavad Gita. Are we doing that? Thought is separate. Karma is separate. I am separate. We are drenched in the duality and we enjoy it. And we have a wonderful example. When Bali Chakravarti, he may be a Rakshasa, but still he knew that following the Dharma is the principle of life. Vamana asked, I just need three foot land. Sukracharya, his guru, is a personification of duality. He thinks Bali is different, the land is different, Vishnu, Vamana is different. He says, hey Bali, don't believe this. Small Brahman is going to push you to Patala. Because he was in duality, what happens when he is offering the water, Bali? What Vamana did? He took a sacred grass, Darbha, and poked into the, the eyes of Sukra just to make him one-eyed. Is Vishnu so saddest to hurt somebody? You go to the Tattva. Hey, Shukracharya, with these two eyes, you are seeing me and Bali separate. One eye, a Tattva. He is indirectly advising Sukracharya not to see the difference between him and Bali Chakravarti. He was preaching non-duality.